What's poppin' everybody? This is Sabro Finding Four on the Whimsy G Players channel. Got a match here with Bonnie, Julie Bonnie, against Carrot. So green versus green, mono green versus uh, mono green. Uh, Julie Bonnie is considered the best, I guess, green deck right now, and she is, to be honest. The leader effect is amazing, and negate attack every turn. It's just very, very good. Uh, Carrot, I like her, but I guess she's not going to be considered as good. Uh, the rest, the free rest every turn is nice, but, you know, it does have a lot of limitations. Once you get into the late game, you can't rest like the big dudes. And, like, even if you could, if you can't get rid of them, that doesn't really amount to much. Uh, but the negate attack is always good. It's just anything as well. It doesn't have any level limitations. Now... She does have to like make sure they they have a dawn spare to do that, but it's kind of a small price to pay when you think about it. Okay, I got my Tristan down. Uh, this is a good little basic vanilla, you know, three thousand for one. But I just need more cheap characters to play down so I can activate Carrot's effect in the early game. Uh, you can do shit like I guess I can use it to kill the searcher and not waste my leader to attack. So. You know, they do have some uses. Uh, he is going to negate the attack. Negate my leader, I guess, of attacking. So it's not exactly a negate attack. It's like a, you rest the dude, so you can pick the dude that's not going to attack. But I just got the kill with Tristan. That's what mattered. I wanted to get rid of the searcher, and that's it. I looked at eBay actually, I'm like, you know what, I'm looking for some One Piece cards, but instead of going to car market, let's check out eBay a little bit, see what's happening there, and everything is just so much more expensive, man, on eBay. Like, I can't believe, I mean, some motherfuckers must be buying from there, right? For people to just sell, and there's like a market there with those crazy prizes, but everything is just more expensive, the singles are more expensive, the boxes are hella more expensive. Like, you could get, let's say, an OP7 booster box right now, or an OP6 at around 80, 85 euros in a car market. On eBay, it's like over $100. So, I don't know what the fuck. Maybe it's different in America, but for us in Europe, it's just shittier. Um, I think even in the UK, it's just the prices are much worse oh well okay and I got I don't have a, a really good hand going here I got all of these um, Ryumas which they'd be good if he has some four drops but he doesn't I gotta like freeze the Cavendish there he's got a humongous ass hand too and plays the Rush Hody Jones it's gonna be annoying. It's gonna kill my dude. I mean, I can't save him because I don't got any 2k counters in hand. I just got the damn Ryumas that can't pop shit. So what the fuck are we gonna do? There goes the Tristan as well. My poor bitch. Okay, we get... Uh, I get the Rosinante Corazon. It's actually a good, a good top deck here. At least I can make some use of my dance. I'll, I'll be able to summon this guy and get the free five as well. So, Nekomamushi comes down. I won't be able to really just put dance on it to kill something, but you know, it's it's the price you gotta pay. I mean. Would I have been better off just summon this guy and then put Don's and not get the free 8? Probably not. Now, I don't got anything in hand though, so if he runs my dudes over, I won't be able to protect them. So I think I'm really unlucky. Um, I think if I wasn't this unlucky, I would have been in a much better position. Like, he's almost toast when it comes to life. But that's because he also drew uh, a life with Holy Jones too. So Nekomamushi is dead, it freezes my dude, so does that mean he won't run him, run him over? I don't know. 
attack me for eight, I'll take all these shots because I don't really got much of a choice. He did play a four down, so I'm glad I need that thing to just uh, die, get some plus out of the dudes. So what we're going to do, we're going to summon Carrot first because I have to. I'm going to freeze your ass, Hody Jones. Pop this guy, make some use of the Ryuma, I have to. And uh, he froze the Rosinante, but at least he didn't die. Much rather that. I'll attack the Cavendish. Cavendish. I'm pretty sure he's going to save him, right? And uh, he did. Okay. And that's it. I can't really do anything else. I mean, he decided to suspend. He suspended the Ryuma. So does that mean like when, when I attack, you can't suspend? Like if he suspended the carrot, was the attack not going to go through? Then it, it doesn't work. Not too sure. Anyway, I want to treat it like it's an again attack every turn. But maybe it's not quite that. Alright, so... We couldn't attack with the Hody Jones, but he's going to get attacks with the rest of the bitches. Three, I'm going to have to drop some dudes here. Ah, it's a triple discard, but I have to because I'm almost dead. Ryumas are not really going to put in work at this stage in the game. You know, is it possible he's going to drop any small guys? Just big guys. Drops another Jones. Yeah, he's really going aggressive because he knows he's going to get game. Uh, I can't really do much of shit. I got to let this happen. So, if I don't win this turn, then we basically don't win so I got basically three attacks he's gonna free somebody <sighs> do I go for the defensive approach do I try and go for game no blockers are down it's got a big ass hand too I mean I'm gonna try Try and kill the Jones. <laughs> I don't know, man. I thought about going for game, but I'm thinking he's going to negate an attack. He lets that happen. So, yeah, I think I did fuck up. Could I have gone for game if I went for game? I don't know. I mean, we're looking at just three attacks. Lots of dawns. But he's got lots of cards in hand, too. Uh, I'm not sure. He actually couldn't negate an attack because he used up all the dawns, actually. So I think I might have had game here if I wasn't dumb. Instead of just trying to run over his dudes. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I think I fucked up. I always, I always make a misplay. What I should have done, because there's no way I was ever going to run over all of his dudes, is... Uh, Try and go for life. I mean, it appears he does have some outs. I get the double blocker. But I think he might still be able to do it. I got zero life. You know, two blockers. He has four characters that can attack. 8k. I got nothing in hand. I think he knows it. It's just these dead Dreumas. If these were 2k counters, we could have done something, maybe. I'll rest up a dawn, because I can't do anything else now. But yeah, 9k, it's just, I, I gotta use the blocker again. So he's just barely, barely gonna win. And I think if I went all out last turn and attacked the leader... I would have had game, but I was a dumbass. So, learn this lesson from me. Don't be bad like me. 
Uh, GG, either way, was a good match. Mine is my misplays. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share the video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What a year.